Ray, Kamara, and Jerison, who will cover a lot of ground. One of the things that you have to expect from Marseille is the positional interchanges. When you play for Sampaoli, you have to be prepared. Ball rolling at the start, Velodrome. The boys in white from OM. Pinging it around the back, trying to draw Bordeaux up a bit. The dark blue of Le Girondon, attacker the Turk. And a very good pickup. From about 30, almost 35 yards out. Stepping and now a player goes down and what's going to happen? It looks as though it's a serious concern. I did not see contact, but even Marseille coming in and it almost looks as though a collapse and maybe a seizure of some sort. Hard to tell. It looks like it's Kalu and everyone showing concern. Oh, no, this looks very, very serious. Uh, did not see contact, but you could see the quick reaction from his teammates and even the opposition here today. Vincent, we can be very, very thankful that it is nothing serious and then well, we get hope. The proper care. The Nigerian heading to the sideline in his third season with Bordeaux. Now it'll be up to the medical staff. They might have a very good idea as to what happened. And Ducey on this near side looking for the ball, but he's not going to get it. Stripped away by Bordeaux, launching it into space, and Mensa giving chase. The Ghanaian with an extra gear. Wunder tracking back the cross inside, deflected by Bellardi, but a good build up by Bordeaux. Two in the wall. Set up for the square if they wish with Wunder, but Payette has something else in mind. Unfortunately, he couldn't get it under the crossbar. Or though seems to have been able to keep Marseille at an arm's distance. Well, they're pretty much hitting it long and hoping for Huang. The offense, here's De La Fuente. Jerson sweeps it across, and it's met by Under. Wing to wing, and Under gets it over. Marseille's in front. Almost out of nothing, Eric. Conrad De La Fuente, for the first time, had green to run onto. And this all happens because Costil tries to play long as Marseille are pressing. Bordeaux pushes up their lines. And for the first time in the game, they're caught with their pants down. Conrad uses his speed. Jerson makes a very smart run. But all the Bordeaux players are attacking that ball. They're out of position. Conrad with an excellent move. Jerson down the half space. Conrad knows that Jerson's going to be there. Has just enough stride in his legs to get on it. And Cheng is with a perfect cut and a wonderful finish because that ball bounces. It's not an easy hit, but there's venom all over that ball and nothing. Here they come again. Payette from the left. Draws, dishes, and delivers! Is there a hotter forward in France? The answer is no. And coming into this season, the big question mark is whether Sampaoli would be able to get consistency out of the maestro that is Dimitri Payet. We know that he has the devil in his boots, but does the devil come alive week in and week out? And in the first two weeks, the answer is a resounding yes, doing it all himself, incisive football from Dimitri Payet, taking on the world and beating it. A lovely daisy cutter to get the ball past Costil. He has options on the right as Kamada and Under are darting in. But he'll do it himself and he will make Bordeaux pay. Well, this Southern of being 0 for 6 in their first two. 
steal off the fingertips and for they had their moments but Jorge Sampaoli bringing back the happy days again 2 nothing lead at the break for OM We are underway, and it does look like that was the switch. Mixer out. Boateng slides to the inside. And the young Parisian, Pembele, making his Bordeaux debut. Mensa sticking out a boot, but the deflection goes the other way. Keeps the pressure on. That was good defending from Cengiz Hunder. Measures flicked through the six and Mandanda sprawling. Clermont and Waco still needed to make eight saves to keep it 2 0. Here comes Pembele. Pembele last deflected and it pinballs home. Brought in for his defense, but providing a telling blow with the first goal of the season for Bordeaux. And how about that for? An inspired substitution. I've been talking about Bordeaux attacking down the wings. Pembele, good individual efforts. Udon was wide open on the far side. It took forever for Kamara to track him. I was about to harangue young Pembele for pulling the trigger here. Gets the luck of the deflection to beat Mandanda. And all of a sudden, the complexion of this game is completely different. Many say he's the best defender coming up through Argentina. He'll be tested here. Mandanda drops to his line, met on the oh. volley, and it's slammed into the corner to tie things up by Remy Udar. Off the bench, onto the score sheet, and where was this Bordeaux in the first half? Oh, that was astounding. From the delivery to the strike, symphonic football. Hit on a dime by Basic and Uda. Look how wide open he is, but still, to make that happen, you have to hit the ball perfectly. How often do we see those go into the stands? Instead, it's a daisy cutter that beats Mandanda for the second time. Oh, Liga, how you have delivered. Ooh la la from Remy Uda. VAR's going to take a look at Wang's position. Wang Weizhou was right along that back line, but hard to say he was involved. Didn't look like he was actively blocking Mandanda. That should count, and this should be a 2-2 game. And Frank McCourt, not whatever Petkovic said at the half, they might want to put a cork in as well. And they walk away with all three points on the road. From the corner, loose, bounces through the six. Pembele squares, sneaks it through everyone. Top of the box, down, but no magic this time. Hold it. Payet, back for Gay, sweeps it wide for De La Fuente. One on one, taking on Pembele to the goal line, to the top of the six, and it's cleared away. Loose inside, blasted high. And under, over the crossbar. So all five jokers on the table for Petkovic. Two wild cards for Sampaoli. Oh, hard challenge. challenge at the edge of the That's box. And Balerdi already had a yellow, but a straight red. Now, in some ways, this could be a benefit because VAR will review it. But the referee did not hesitate. No, it's a full-blooded challenge. He looked to show cleats. To flash them. 22-year-old Argentine waiting until it's official. We'll see if we can see a better look on the replay. Oh, 100%. It doesn't matter that he doesn't make clean contact. I mean, he still gets Mata. But this is just a silly and dangerous challenge. That is a leg splitter. Coming up over the ball with the cleats out. That could have been even uglier. Yeah, and Mata, uglier. fortunate. 
he can walk away. Well, it's fortunate that he didn't make clean contact. That's a criminal challenge, and I don't mean that he was challenging for that ball like that. Mangas, Mensa making a run. Can they get a shot away if they can switch it to Pembele? Mensa crosses. Pembele settles. Oh, and he forgot it on the doorstep. The final whistle. Marseille wins the first half. Bordeaux wins the second. And they'll share the points. Yeah, there's no winner on the field, but for the fans that had the chance to watch, a nail-biting affair, Eric. Well, for the neutrals, we are all winners because that was entertainment from start to finish. It was on a knife's edge. and I